everybody! My name is Emily and today I'm going to show you two spooky looks for Halloween. So let's get started. The first one we're going to do is a bat around the eyes and the second one is a little bit more tricky but I'm sure you'll all be able to do it. It's a Frankenstein. So for the bat you are going to need black and white face paint, brushes, a sponge, some water and a little spray bottle filled with water. The face paints I'm using today are from TAG, but you can absolutely create these looks with any other water activated face paint too. I like to have a face washer beside me and just in case I have a bit too much face paint on my brush. To begin, saturate your sponge with white face paint and gently cover the eye area and create the shape of a wing that you like. Make sure you don't have a super wet sponge because you don't want the paint to drip everywhere, especially into the eye. Once you have the white on, take the other end of your sponge that doesn't have any paint on it and use it to smudge out the paint. This will help the wing look less intense and a bit more faded. And do the same with the other side. Now take a small paintbrush and coat it in black face paint. You are now creating the shape of the bat body. Use the bridge of the nose to make out the shape. Use the space between the eyebrows as a centre mark and the forehead space to position the head. Create a rounded egg shape and for the ears make two long triangles. Now for the wings, using your brush flick out from the centre and create a web shape around the eye. If your white face paint is bigger than the black web outline, you can take your face washer and dampen it and clean it up. Now paint the lines from the wing tips into the center. Do the same on the other side. To finish, use a small fine brush to add white face paint to the black outline. This acts as a highlighter and will make the web stand out. Use the other end of the brush to create your bat eyes. And if you want, you can add glitter to finish. Next is a scary Frankenstein. This one requires a little bit more face paint. Black, white, red, and two shades of green. Before we continue, big shout out to my sister for letting me paint her green and turn her into a monster. Start off by using a damp sponge and taking the lighter shade of green and cover the face. You might look like an ogre at this point, but trust me, it gets better. Now take the darker green and create your shading and definition around the face. Also add around the eyes. Now take the black face paint and much to my sister's dismay, we are now creating a thick monobrow. Next, the mouth. Flick the brush from the corner of your mouth outwards as far as you would like. Then blacken the lips and smudge it out a little bit. You can use a sponge or I just use my fingertips. We are now painting on Frankenstein's big forehead cut. Using the guide created by the two shades of green, paint a zigzag across the forehead. On the temple, paint a nail head shape. It also might look a little bit like a mushroom and repeat on the other side. On the forehead, paint little stitch lines across the zigzag. Add hair to the monobrow. Now take the white paint. Again, this will act as a highlighter. Add extra stitches around the face as you please. And to finish, I added red on my stitches, darkened the under eye and added some more highlights. And there you have a scary Frankenstein. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a spooky Halloween.